What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted. Basically, on this podcast, what we do is we do a brand new episode every single day. I'm just documenting my journey as an independent musician. I'm a rapper and a music producer, and I'm going to give you tips, tricks, talk about stuff that's worked, talk about stuff that hasn't worked, and just share my journey along the way. Goal is to do a brand new episode every day for 366 days in a row. Today is episode number two. Oh, one. Damn, dude. I'm honestly like, that's crazy. 201 episodes in a row. 201 days in a row, too. I'm feeling lit about it. So, look, honestly, I want to get hella real with you guys today and just kind of talk about what I'm going through. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of the times I feel super pressured to like come up with a specific topic, which is good. Sometimes I like to come up with tips and tricks, but I'm just going to get real and just talk about... Uh, just kind of what I'm going through, you know, talk about my struggles and talk about what has been challenging me and where I'm at and maybe give you a little insight more on me and who I am, you know? So one of the biggest challenges that I go through uh, frequently, and I'm kind of going through it now, is just overwhelmed, you know? And I know you feel that. I know as an independent musician, you probably feel the same way as me. You know, so I'm not here to complain and I'm not here to say that something's going different with me than it is with you. I'm, I'm actually, I want to talk about this stuff so we could all relate to each other. I'm overwhelmed. You know, I feel as though, um, you know, I kind of feel like I have all of these different things that I want to do and I have all of these opportunities that I want to go after and, you know, it's frustrating to me because... I think the biggest thing that I want is just to win super big. You know, we all want that big, big win. You know, and I'm sure that I don't think this is ever going to stop because I've even heard successful uh, entrepreneurs talk about they're still they still feel like they haven't won big. You know, they still feel like they're getting started. I've heard Gary Vaynerchuk talk about that. I've heard Andy Frisella say that. You know, they still feel like they're getting started, but they're obviously super rich, successful right, by, by our regular terms, and they're still like, no, I'm still trying to get started. And so I don't see this really ever stopping, but I think right now, I, you know, you go through these ups and these downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. It's all really in my head. I know you feel that. It's all, it's all just in our head. And, you know, it's where I'm at is very much like, yeah, just overwhelmed with a bunch of different things. You know, I have a new beat bundle I'm going to be coming out with this month, which I'm really excited about because it's going to have some fire beats. I got a couple partner producers to hook me up with some really exclusive beats. As well, I'm going to put together two mini trainings on Instagram and Facebook that are really going to, I think, help people learn how to really grow a fan base using Instagram and Facebook. And I'm really psyched about that. Um, so I'm putting that together. And just that alone actually takes a lot of work. You know, I've got to make beats. I've got to build the funnel. I've got to write the email sequences. I've got to build the advertising. I have to actually make the courses, right? So it's not so quick, quick, just make a beat, make some beats. It's like you got to build all these other things around it. So that's kind of overwhelming me. Uh, and then come up with a marketing plan for that as well as, you know, um, coaching, right? Like I'm coaching artists right now and I'm really working on growing that and getting, you know, working with more of the right people. And, you know, that's a process, right? It, it's, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of time spent. It's really, it's really, you know, giving my time away to the right people. And that's, that takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot of effort. And um, literally it takes a lot of time. So there's that going on. And then as well, like I'm still trying to build my brand as an artist, right? Kind of my personal brand and kind of my, you know, my, my, my whole catalog of music, right? And that's a lot of work as well because I'm producing my own music and I have a few songs where a couple other people made the beat and are producing it. But, you know, a lot of the time it, it, it's, it's me making all the beats. It's me producing, mixing and mastering and recording here at home. And, and it's a lot of work, you know, and then I've been working with my manager um, and we're figuring out a whole marketing plan for that. But it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, and it's really, Yeah, where I'm at, where I'm at right now is just a lot. It's a lot going on, and it feels like I I could win at any one of those things, but I really really want to win super big. You know what I mean? I want to win big. I want to win big. I want to win at a le at the level that I know I can win at, 
And I think what gets frustrating is when I don't win at the level that I want to win at. You know what I mean? And I'm sure you can relate to that. I'm sure that you're at a point in your career as well where you want to win big and you want something big to happen. You want to see that song go viral or you want that video to pop or, you know, um, whatever it may be in your career. Maybe you want maybe you want that placement if you're a producer or you want to start seeing that revenue and that profit in your, in your business. I, I get it and it's tough. And you know what I can say that has really helped me out and I'm not telling you what you should do, but something that's really just helped me is just understanding that this is how it goes. This is life. Like life goes through, you know, ups and downs. That's how it goes. And that's okay. And it literally goes like that for everybody, whether you're super rich or broke or you have no idea what you're doing or you're figuring it out. Either way, you are going to be at a point in your career where there's those ups and those downs and you just have to keep going. You gotta keep going. And I think the other thing too that really has helped me is just working really, really hard. And I know that that sounds super corny, I get it, but just pushing myself to that next step and pushing myself to that next level always is good because I can go to sleep. At the end of the day, I can go to bed. When I'm falling asleep, I look back at my day, I go, you know what? I did it today, man, I worked. I did something today and as much as I wanna win big and as much as I'm not at the point where I wanna be at, I can still look back at my day and think, you know? God dang it, I did it. You know, I did something today. I did a lot today and I, and, and I couldn't have done any more. And that's to me where a lot of our emotional issues come from is when people don't feel like they've done enough. And it takes organization. You got to organize your time, which I talk about a lot on this episode, podcast, so I won't talk about it now. But organizing your time and it takes a lot of realizing why you're doing something. Um, you got to get onto a routine. You got to have a morning routine. You got to do the things that it's gonna take to put you in the best state of mind so that you're always productive, but you also have that balance of that free time as well. So it's tough and um, you know, I just kinda wanna get on here and share that with you and relate that to you that if you're going through something, if you're frustrated, if you feel like you haven't won big, don't worry because I'm in that same space where I don't feel like I've won at the level where I wanna win at and it's part of life and it's part of the journey and it's okay. You know, it's not okay to continue to not win, but it is okay to feel like you haven't won big enough. Everybody feels that way. So continue to do whatever you can and find those big wins in your life, all right? Last thing I wanna talk about before we sign out of here is we have a contest going on for the Music Mastery Podcast. Right now we're on episode 201. The contest will be finished on episode 208. So basically all you have to do is share this podcast on your Instagram story and or share it on your news on your Instagram feed, okay? All you gotta do is share it and, and tag me and two of your friends, me and two of your friends, and you'll get entered in the contest and the winner is gonna get a one hour coaching call with me for free where we're gonna break down how your marketing is going and I'm gonna get you on the trajectory to start building a massive audience for yourself. Now, the way it works is if you share it on your Instagram story, you get one point. If you share it on your feed, you get two points. That could be up to three points per day. You cannot get more than three points per day. Every single point is your name in the hat. So I'm literally gonna write people's names down and throw them into a hat and pick names out of the hat, okay? An Instagram story post is one name, like your name once, feed is your name twice. You could have your name up in, you could have your name in the hat up to three times per day. Does that make sense? So if you do it every day, you could have three times however many days and that would be your name in the hat. And then you get a free hour with me where I'm gonna break, again, I'm gonna show you how to gain a massive following at whatever stage you're at in your career. And I'm gonna help you build a marketing plan to do it sustainably and scalably so you can scale it over time. I'm not trying to use big fancy words, I'm just trying to make it seem like you're gonna be able to get marketing advice from me that you can use forever. That's what I'm trying to say, right? And you get it for free. So all you gotta do is share that Music Mastery podcast on your Instagram story and or on your Instagram feed Tag me and tag two of your friends, all right? That's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace!